Octo Raider Octopod, incoming Octo Report. Octo Agents, please report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Deshi reporting. Yellowstone geezers. There's a volcano under Yellowstone Park. And its activity is leaving a mark. You can see geezers here and sulfurous pools. But it's important that you follow the rules. What looks like safe dry ground can hide hazards below. Because the pools can burn and the geezers can blow. Watch where you're walking as you hike and explore. And you'll enjoy your time in Yellowstone more. Yeah! Check it out! Yellowstone Geysers! The mission is done, now agents prepare To follow the call to adventure anywhere! You look fantastic! Say seaweed! Seaweed! Whoa! Whoa! It's an earthquake! Oh, but it seems to be over now. Peso, Dashy, is everyone safe and sound out there? I think so. But where's that sea lion? I'm fine. Phew! We're okay here, Captain. Very good. <laughs> Doctor Agent Pearl, report please. There was a big earthquake. It's really shaken things up here in the Nevada desert. Tracker. Doctor Agent Tracker reporting an earthquake here in Alaska, sir. Is anyone hurt? No, but I just checked my map, and it looks like the vibrations from this quake have traveled all the way to the desert in Nevada. Here, let's take a look. Yeah, indeed. The earthquake in Alaska set up vibrations that traveled underground through Oregon all the way to Nevada. So that's why we felt it. And so did I. I was doing research on the plants and animals at Devil's Hole when the quake hit here pretty strong. Are you all right, Pearl? I am, but I'm afraid the pupfish may not be. Fish? In the desert? That's right. And these pupfish are some of the rarest in the world. They can only live right here in Devil's Hole. Because they eat a special algae that only grows there. Yes, but unfortunately, the earthquake caused a lot of big rocks to crash into the water. And now, the pupfish can't get to their algae. Jumping jellyfish. That means the pupfish will go hungry. We'll send a rock removal team right away. Peso, Shellington, Dashy, take the octoray. Aye, 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 Captain. OK, then. Octonauts, let's do this. Let's go meet the pupfish. <laughs> Jumping jellyfish. Now y'all hold it right there. Who are all these guys? These are the Optonauts. I told you they were coming to help. Peso, Dashi, and my little brother Shellington. My name is Elton. My name's Pinto. Your antlers are impressive, Elton. Are they strong? Strong enough to defend myself. Here, test them out. <coughs> oh no, we're on top of an underground sulfur spring. It's really. Mmm, and extremely hot. We must be very careful. If the ground breaks, we could fall in and get burned. Pinto, there you are. Dashi, Bunny, be careful. What's that smell? Oh, it's sulfur. And this is a sulfur spring. Like a geyser, it's heated by the hot rocks below. And the sulfur also makes the water acidic. What? See? Absolutely splashy. And dangerous. A good point. 
We need to get out of here, Pinto. We have to help Dashi and Pani. Can you get us up there? Of course I can. Oh, but what now? Focus, Pinto, focus. The ropes! Mind if I tie these to your strong antlers? Not at all. Back up and pull when I give you the signal, okay? I'm at the ready. There she! Marty! Pinto! What are you doing up there? We're saving you! Grab the rope! Got it! Got it! All right, Elton. Activate antlers! <laughs> See now, that's it. You made it! Splashing! Cool! <laughs> Splendid! Thank you, Pinto. And thank you, uh, Elton, was it? That's my name, at your service. Thank you, Elton. And Pinto, well, that was some quick thinking. Without your help, Dashi and I would have been in hot water. Stinky, burning hot water. Even stinkier than that bombardier beetle. I'm just glad you're both safe. But now, we've got to get you home. Let's call Peso and let him know you made it home safely. Hi, Peso. I made it home. <laughs> I know. I'm standing right behind you. <gasps> we finished helping the sea turtles. And I thought I'd drop by to give you something. Uh, an Octo Watch? Dashi said you earned it today. That's right. I'm so proud of you. Junior Octo Agent Pinto. Thank you. Working really well. This gup's as tough as a beetle, that's for sure. We're almost at the hot spring. It's right over. Uh oh. What is it? Well, the hot spring is on the other side of this deep crevasse. Oh no. Oh, we're so close. But uh, how are we going to get across? Don't worry. We just need a little time to figure it out. Right, Twink? Oh, oh, oh. There's another mudslide headed this way. And according to the census, it's moving fast. That mud could push us right over the edge and into the crevasse. What can we do? Looks like I need to finish hooking up one last special feature. And I better do it faster than you can say... Ah! There's no time to say it! Dashi, start backing up. Backing up? Into the mudslide? Yep. One last wire. No! Don't have my hooker! Oh! Oh, thanks, Tunip! Uh, uh. That should do it. Sure hope this works. Okay, Dashie. Now go forward toward the crevasse as fast as you can. Okay. Oh, I can't look. And I can't look away. We're going to hit the red button! <laughs> Beetle wings! Woohoo! <laughs> We're gliding! <laughs> Just like a winged beetle! I'd say that was a successful test of the Terragut One's beetle wings! <laughs> Thanks! And Tunip, you helped me out faster than I could say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots! Oh, oh, much better. I can't thank you enough. Oh, by the way, if you've never had the pleasure of enjoying a Himalayan hot spring, I highly recommend it. Ooh, I could use a nice warm bath. <laughs> I can see why you like living in a hot spring, Charlie. Come on! Yeah, and thanks to you guys, I have a nice new hot spring to call home. Captain Barney!
Pickles. Hello. Barney, just checking in to make sure everything's all right. We're in hot water at the moment, but honestly, it's quite relaxing. Uh, what do you mean? Well, there's nothing as relaxing as a hot spring on a cold day. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.